Hey guys, it's me. Um, I kind of just woke up an hour ago, so sorry if my hair is a bit messy and if I'm not wearing any makeup. It's just because I've been busy. Um, I checked my email about 20 minutes ago and there was um, a message from one of my friends uh, with two videos in it. And both of them are from the website fuckhate.com. Um, I really, all the people who are subscribed to me, who support, um, gays, lesbians, and bisexuals, transsexuals, transgender, anything like that, please, please, please go to this website and buy the shirt. It's $13. And it all goes to a fund that helps stop gay bashing. Um... And if you guys are old enough to vote, vote against Prop 8. Um, voting against Prop 8 will help a lot of people because, okay, the whole gay marriage thing, they're going to be together whether they can get married or not. There's nothing for me to change that. There's always going to be gays and lesbians in the world. Um, so if you have a problem with it, just shut up. Because if they want to get married, let them get married. If they don't get married, they're still going to be together anyways. Um, the only thing that gays can't give us that straight people can is children. And you know what? Even a lot of straight couples don't have children. So get over it. Um, me being bisexual, I'm offended with the fact that a lot of people um, are trying to vote for Prop 8 so gays can't get married. Um, people are trying to prevent them from serving in our militaries, marrying, adopting. It's it's really sad. If someone wants to fight for our country, we should let them. If gays want to get married, if a girl wants to marry a girl, if a guy wants to marry a guy, let them. They're going to be together whether they can get married or not. So what's the difference if they have um, a marriage certificate or if they're just together? You might as well let them be happy if they're going to be with the person they're with. Um, and the whole adoption thing, um, yeah, I think gays should be allowed to adopt because even if they can't adopt, being gay, they'll find a way to adopt some other way. Um, it's not really that hard. Um, adoption is pretty much one of the only um, options for gay people. Um, there's also um, artificial insemination for lesbian couples, um, which isn't as effective, but it's nicer that it's their own kid. But um, really, just vote against Prop 8. Prop 8 is nothing but gay marriage ban. Um, one in four kids in school, like in elementary school, middle school, and high school, um, have tried to kill themselves for being gay bashed. Um, they get bullied and beaten, and it's it's stupid. They're people. It's not like they're any different from us. It's just the fact of who they choose to date. Um, and it's it's really sad. Uh, I'm actually going to link both the videos, both two videos, down in the underbar. So you can watch them. I'm warning you, there is the F word used a lot. And if you don't approve of little kids cussing, um, don't watch it because there are, in both videos, there are two little kids in one video and one little kid in another video saying the F bomb. So if you have a problem with little kids cussing, I wouldn't suggest you watching it. If you have a problem with cussing in general, I wouldn't suggest you watching it. But if you're if you're gay, or bisexual, or lesbian, or transsexual, or transgender, or anything, even if you're straight and you support gays and bisexuals and lesbians and all of that, please watch these videos because you will learn a lot about what, well not really, you won't learn anything, but you'll see what a lot of people go through. Um, most of the people in this in these videos are gay, lesbian, or bisexual. There are a few straight people that are clearly straight, but um, yeah, you guys, you really, really, really need to watch these videos because it's so sad the way that 
gay people are being treated. Um, like I said, I'm bisexual. I've dated both boys and girls. There's no difference except for what's in your pants. Or, in a girl's case, what's underneath her shirt. But, <laughs> it's not really a big deal. I mean, we both have beating hearts. We both have souls. We both have lives that we're living and it's just the fact how we were made what genders we're attracted to so I mean honestly if you guys are really that offended don't be around them I mean let them be happy with their lives I mean cause people are killing themselves daily because of um because of who they are because either them being gay or lesbian or bisexual. I've heard a lot of people, not at my school personally, but at other schools in my town, say that gay people have no souls, which is not true. Um, personally, right now, um, I used to be Catholic. I used to be a really uh, God-honest Catholic girl, um, but I'm not anymore because of the fact that people in my church um, were not letting me bring um, my girlfriend and a lot of my gay friends to church, they wouldn't let them in. So um, when it came time for that, I stopped going to church altogether. Um, I got so sick of all of these Jesus freaks, as people in my town call them, bashing on gays. Because you know what, if half of those people in that church knew that my parents had a bisexual daughter they would not even let my parents go to church and then the whole thing on um, people um, of God not loving gays not true um, there's a video from Razorblade Jake or the real Razorblade Jake on YouTube and I'm going to try and find the video if I can and if I can't I'm sorry but I really need to find like these um these reasons why being gay is wrong um there it's called the top 10 reasons why being gay is wrong and number one is being gay is not natural number two gay marriage will encourage people to be gay Number three, legalizing gay marriage will open the door to all kinds of crazy behavior. Number four, straight marriage has been around a long time and hasn't changed at all. Number five, straight marriage will be less meaningful if gay marriage were allowed. Number six, straight marriages are valid because they produce children. Number seven, obviously gay parents will raise gay children. Number eight, gay marriage is not supported by religion. Number nine, Children can never succeed without a male and female role model at home. And number ten, gay marriage is the foundation uh, will change the foundation of society. We could never adapt to the new social normalities, which is so false. Okay, first of all, being gay is natural because if it weren't natural, God wouldn't have made us how He did. He wouldn't have allowed it. Second of all. Gay marriage will not encourage people to be gay. People do not become gay. People are born gay. They may not discover it or let it out until later on in their life, but usually gays and lesbians and bisexuals are born that way. Number three, legalizing gay marriage will open the doors to all kinds of crazy behavior. That's ridiculous. That is so false. Um, Gay marriage and being gay, no difference there. Um, people can date gay people and there's no kinds of crazy behavior going on in the world. It's just the difference between dating someone and being engaged to someone the same gender as you and having a marriage certificate saying that you're legally married. There's no difference. Um, fourth, um, straight marriage has changed a lot. Um, back way way back 
you weren't allowed to get divorces. Nowadays, it's shunned upon if you're Catholic or Christian, you get a divorce, but it's still allowed. Um, straight marriages are valid because they produce children, which is number six. Um, that's so, so offensive to a lot of people. Um, I miss number five. Um, straight marriage would be less meaningful if gay marriage were allowed? No, it wouldn't. No, it, it wouldn't be less meaningful because gay marriage being allowed does not make straight people want to be gay. Um, number seven, which is obviously gay parents raise gay children, that is not the case. Um, my great grandma is a lesbian. She has five kids. None of them are gay. She has grandchildren who are gay, yes, but none of her kids were gay. So, that's really, really, really wrong um, of them to say. Um, number eight, gay marriage is not supported by religion. So what? A lot of people nowadays don't have a religion. They're spiritually open, or they just don't believe in having a religion, like a certain supported religion. Um, Children can never succeed without a male and female role model at home. What about the kids who only have one parent? What about the single moms and single dads? They don't have a male and female role model. They have either a male role model or a female role model. So what's the difference between being a single mom and being a lesbian mom? Nothing. What's the difference between being a single dad and a gay dad? Nothing. Um, and number ten, gay marriage will change the foundation of society? No. Society hasn't changed any more than it's going to in the next few years, so well, not from being, not from allowing gay marriage, anyways. But this, those rules are so false and so ridiculous, and it's so annoying, and it's just, it really irritates me when people say stuff like this. And this is on the internet too. It's in the top ten reasons why being gay is wrong. So go ahead and Google it, try and find it, because this is so, so ridiculous. And um, that's all I have to say for today, and I'm going to get on with here, so comment, rate, subscribe, and until my next video, I will talk to all of you guys soon.